Hey everybody, uh, welcome to another review. Um, today I'm going to review a new piece of software. I've never heard of them before, but uh, I got a request for it uh, by somebody on uh, one of the forums that I'm part of, and uh, it's called Shadow Defender. And um, let's go to the website here and take a look at uh, what it is. It's uh, shadowdefender.com. This is a pay software, but I think there's a uh, trial that we can do here. So uh, let's take a look at what it is. Uh, from what I read about this, it's basically you run your whole system in a virtual environment called Shadow Mode, and anything that happens to your system that's new gets uh, put into that virtual environment, and you can. Uh, perform a, a reboot I guess a, from the program or something we'll see when we check it out and you can restore the system to its original state as nothing has happened um, supposedly it prevents all viruses and malware uh, you can surf the internet safely uh, protect your privacy and all that fun stuff um, basically this is almost uh, kind of like what uh, Komodo time machine will be um, but a little bit different. So uh, let's take a look at it here. It looks like a small installer. It's only 1.23 megabytes. That's good. Let's uh, download it here and we'll run it. Let's take a look here. Let's accept the agreement. We'll create a desktop icon. Guess we have to restart the computer, so I'll be right back at uh, as it's restarting. Okay, uh, computer's restarting now, and uh, we'll see if any different screens or anything like that come up. We know that uh, when Komodo Time Machine installed, uh, it actually had a different screen during boot up for the first time. So we'll see if there's anything different here. Everything looks pretty normal. We can see there's a new icon right now shadow defender icon so let's open it up we'll buy it later so let's see here it's uh, volumes in shadow mode NTFS that's good it's mode setting So we'll enter shadow mode right now. Okay, as you can see, there's a shadow mode button. There's an exclusion list. Uh, so I would expect you could exclude maybe your antivirus folders and that type of stuff. So uh, they can get updated constantly. And if when you reboot, uh, it doesn't wipe away all the new updates. Um, so see anything uh, you can do password control and that seems pretty simple don't see anything out of the ordinary here with it here's a uh, here's another one uh, anything that gets applied in uh, commit now to these folders uh, gets applied automatically uh, bypasses the shadow modes that's uh, Maybe that's where you put your uh, antivirus. Uh, don't know. I'd have to read the uh, help file and read a little bit about the program, but I just like to go with it, you know, test them out. So, but now seeing that we are in shadow mode, we should be fully protected. Um, I got a uh, uh, a list of some malware. We can download, install it, and uh, reboot, and uh, they should be all gone when we come back. Uh, let me get that list, and I'll be right back. Okay, got the uh, malware list. Let's open up uh, Internet Explorer here. Let's get this list uh, somewhere where we could see it. Alright, first malware here. I'm not going to do all 10 of them because there would be no point. I'm not doing an antivirus test or anything. I'm just uh, doing a test to make sure that in shadow mode everything is prevented once uh, we reboot. So I'll only do half of them, I'll only do five. Okay. As 
as you can see, of course, because I don't have any antivirus, everything's just uh, making it right by. Like you would expect. This is uh, some kind of security uh, kind of a rogue security suite here or whatever. Okay, that's all five. Uh, this one might not be working. Oh, no, actually it is working. Okay, as you can see, we have all sorts of uh, things going on here. You know, we got uh, one right there. Let's open up and take a look in Task Manager, see what we got going on here. We got all sorts of little fun stuff opened up. So, now, as you can see, we have some things installed on the computer. Let's uh, see if we get any redirects. Go to AVG free. Oh, no redirects, so whatever I installed isn't that bad yet. But as you know, there's still stuff in there. You can still see, see as you can see right now, it's uh, tr it's getting that uh, fun uh, pop up again of uh, Internet Explorer just opening up over and over every time I close it. So now uh, I'm going to open up uh, Shadow Defender. Make sure that uh, we're in shadow mode. Yes, we are. And let's reboot. And uh, I'll be right back after it reboots. Okay, uh, Windows right now is rebooting. And uh, let's see what happens. Uh, everything should be gone if I uh, configured it right. and there you go you can see everything's gone here let's see if we have anything opening up in task manager remember we had about 27 processes and we had a couple of uh, very interesting named ones we got the uh, two defender processes and I don't see anything else so as you can see, Shadow Defender worked beautifully. Um, very simple software to use. Got some exclusion and commit now settings, so that's uh, I like that. Uh, you can even continue in. Uh, I uh, when I set this up, I went to uh, exit shadow mode when shut down. You can continue in shadow mode every time. Uh, well, maybe not. Oh no, it popped up just a little error for some odd reason so as you can see it uh, worked beautifully uh, simple software definitely a uh, good addition if you were looking for something uh, a little different in the security game I definitely give Shadow Defender a look um, as you can see let's uh, check out Test Manager again nothing's there everything that uh, was there before I started Shadow Mode is there and anything that I installed after all that malware and stuff is all gone now so uh, there you go uh, another uh, simple little piece of software that uh, does what it says, and that's what I'm looking for. All right, guys, um, that does it for today. Uh, I might do another uh, quick uh, review on something else a little later in the day, but for right now, well, I'm going to upload this and uh, take care.